15 genius uses for rubbing alcohol you've probably seen it on the shelves of your local pharmacy but would it surprise you to learn that rubbing alcohol has many more bizarre applications than just treating cuts and scrapes today we're sharing our favorite uses for this medical marvel including first aid cleaning beauty and more rubbing alcohol is a common antiseptic solution used in first aid to clean and disinfect minor scrapes because the bottle may say rubbing alcohol it's important to be aware of the various name variations in order to find what you're looking for according to drugs.com rubbing alcohol is typically 70 percent alcohol absolute or isopropyl alcohol and 30 percent water denaturants and perfume oils it is available in most pharmacies for a few pounds when using rubbing alcohol always work in a well ventilated area rubbing alcohol is extremely flammable using alcohol to apply first aid before we get into all of the other uses for rubbing alcohol let's start with the most obvious first aid one cuts and bruises should be treated cuts lacerations gashes and tears are all possible these are wounds that penetrate the skin and reach the fat tissue the result of a sharp object scrapes abrasions scratches and floor burns are all possible these are superficial wounds that do not penetrate the skin. Scrapes on the knees, elbows, and palms are common. Bruises. These are blood vessels that have bled into the skin. A blunt object is to blame. They can occur in the absence of a cut or scrape. To begin, rubbing alcohol, also known as surgical spirit, can be used to clean and disinfect surface wounds, cuts, and bruises. Piercings are included. You can clean the affected area with rubbing alcohol on a sterile piece of cotton wool every day, but not for more than seven days in a row. If the wound does not heal, you should seek medical attention. 2. Make your own ice pack. You'll want to remember this DIY ice pack the next time you have a sore spot or an injury. Mix one part surgical spirit with three parts water in a sealable plastic bag. It even conforms to your shape. 3. Soothe a twisted ankle or other minor injury A sprained ankle is caused by the stretching or tearing of the ankle ligaments, which support the joint by connecting bones. A sprain occurs when your ankle is forced to move out of its normal position, causing one or more of the ligaments in your ankle to stretch, partially tear, or completely tear. Apply rubbing alcohol directly to the affected area. It will help to bring blood to the area and reduce swelling. 4. Cold sore treatment at home. There's no need to be concerned. Cold sores are blisters around the mouth and nose caused by the herpes simplex virus. Although most adults are immune to cold sores, they can easily spread to others, despite the fact that most adults are already infected. Even when there are no blisters, they can spread. To heal them quickly, dab a cotton ball soaked in rubbing alcohol onto the affected area every night. 5. Using rubbing alcohol, make your own hand sanitizer. Is the store out of hand sanitizer? Don't worry, you can easily make your own hand sanitizer at home. You only need rubbing alcohol, the higher the percentage, the better, and aloe vera gel. Combine two parts rubbing alcohol and one part aloe vera gel. If your rubbing alcohol contains less than 70% alcohol, you will need to increase the rubbing alcohol ratio for it to be effective at killing bacteria. If you want, you can scent your hand sanitizer with a few drops of your favorite essential oil. After you've combined the ingredients, pour your homemade hand sanitizer into a clean bottle. It's so easy. 6. Get rid of any sticky residue. Have you ever wondered how to get rid of sticker residue? When you know this clever tip, it will be simple to remove price tags, plasters, and stickers. Soak the sticky residue left by price tags or stickers in rubbing alcohol and then wipe clean. If you are unable to soak the area, you can wipe it down with a cloth. Simply apply a generous amount of rubbing alcohol to a piece of cotton wool to remove plaster residue from your skin. 7. Clean your spectacles thoroughly. Eyeglasses are a device used to correct vision defects or to protect the eyes that typically consists of a pair of glass or plastic lenses and the frame that holds them in place. Did you know that rubbing alcohol can be used to clean your glasses? It will have a deep cleaning effect and will eliminate any germs. Because your eyes are sensitive and susceptible to infection, make sure you clean them on a regular basis.
To make a handy glasses cleaning spray, combine three parts rubbing alcohol and one part water in a clean, travel-sized bottle. 8. Dusty Venetian Blinds If you have a vacuum, dusting can be one of the easiest and most painless household tasks. If not, all you need to clean your blinds is a pair of barbecue tongs and two dusters. Each tong should be wrapped in a duster and secured with an elastic band. Each slat can be cleaned by dipping the tongs in rubbing alcohol. For thorough dust and grime removal, run them along each blind. 9. Shine your mirrors. Mirrors have a variety of uses, regardless of their size, style, age, grandmother inherited heritage, or modernity. Regardless of their shape or material, if their primary purpose is to reflect, they are also very decorative. The mirror is a significant asset. The reflection a mirror reflects is without a doubt one of its most significant qualities as a decorative element. In fact, giving a room dimension and visual enlargement is really useful. It enables us to widen our perspectives, experiment with them, and perceive what lies behind us. Using a unique cloth made for mirrors is advised when cleaning a mirror. Want to shine without smudges? Buff your mirrors using some rubbing alcohol and a clean towel. Use a clean cloth and some rubbing alcohol to gently buff your mirrors in circular motions. Also, you may use this solution to give your sink and faucets a sparkling finish. 10. Tidy up your gardening equipment. Any of the numerous gardening and landscaping tools that also fall under the umbrella of agricultural and horticultural tools is referred to as a garden tool. Hand tools and power tools are two categories for garden equipment. Rubbing alcohol makes cleaning gardening equipment a breeze. It will get rid of any undesirables from diseased, rotting, and dead plants. Initially, wash the equipment with soap and water. Then, apply some rubbing alcohol to the tools and let it do its thing for a couple of minutes. After rinsing with fresh water, they will be prepared to use again. 11. Take out the permanent marker. Has your child marked the furniture with permanent marker? Every family house should have rubbing alcohol. Using some rubbing alcohol to the area will help you get marker off of non-permeable surfaces including plastic, laminate, and marble. The marker will disintegrate and return to a liquid condition, making it simple to wipe off. 12. Deodorize your shoes. The purpose of a shoe is to cushion and protect the human foot. They're frequently worn with socks. Moreover, shoes are utilized for both fashion and ornamentation. The design of shoes has changed dramatically through time and between cultures, with shape initially being connected to utility. Spraying rubbing alcohol into your shoes and letting them air dry will deodorize them. Your feet shouldn't be as smelly or damp the next time you wear them because the rubbing alcohol will absorb any odors and deodorize the cloth. 13. Stretch your shoes. Most of us have persuaded ourselves to purchase an uncomfortable pair of shoes in the past. You'll find shoes that are too tiny totally pointless once you've tried wearing them for a day, regardless of whether it was the cost or the prettiness that twisted your arm. You might attempt to resell them, or you could discover how to stretch shoes, bid blisters farewell, and say hello to attractive feet in their place. Another one of our favorite applications for rubbing alcohol is to stretch little shoes. Unbelievably, employing the same method to deodorize shoes will cause the leather to slightly deteriorate. 14. Remove nail polish. Nail polish, also known as nail varnish or nail enamel, is a lacquer that can be put to the human fingernail or toenails to adorn and protect the nail plates. The composition has been altered frequently to enhance its ornamental features and to reduce cracking or peeling. Nail polish consists of a blend of an organic polymer and numerous other components that give it colors and textures. Nail polishes come in a variety of colors and are essential to manicures and pedicures. Polish removers are designed to soften polishes, treatments, or hardeners so that the coating on the nail can be readily removed. No more nail polish remover on hand. No issue. A nice alternative is rubbing alcohol. It will require extensive rubbing, but it should eventually shift. 15. Repair a broken bronzer, blusher, or eyeshadow. One of our all-time favorite beauty tips is this one. If you've ever broken your favorite powder or eyeshadow, you probably believed there was no turning back, though there is. Fixing the powder. 
using a sterile pair of tweezers, or any sterile, sharp metal item, break the makeup apart, crushing it until it produces a loose powder. Spritz some rubbing alcohol on the powder. Wrap a coin or any flat, round object with a fresh piece of paper towel. Use this to apply makeup and even it out. It will be as good as new after a few hours of setting in 16. Frosty windows. Surgical spirit will help speed things up. Pour some into a mini spray bottle and give windows a good squirt. It helps dissolve frost so you should be able to remove it with just a quick wipe with the wiper blades. You can also use rubbing alcohol preventatively with this anti-frost solution. Mix a solution of 1 half cup rubbing alcohol and 1 quarter cup water. Take a sponge and wash your windows. The next time the temperature drops you should have less frost to scrape away. 17. Get rid of cooking smells from your hands. Getting rid of smells in the home can be a nightmare, but it's even worse when those smells cling to your skin. If you've ever chopped onion and garlic, you'll know how much the smell can cling to your hands. Banish lingering smells by rubbing surgical spirit onto your hands, much like a hand gel sanitizer. It'll help to neutralize any odor. Are there any alternatives to rubbing alcohol? When looking for a substitute for rubbing alcohol, you'll need to consider what you want to use it for. Saline solution works very well for cleaning wounds like new piercings. Other substitutes for rubbing alcohol can include vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, witch hazel, hand sanitizer, and unflavored vodka, but it all depends on its intended use. Are methylated spirits the same things as rubbing alcohol? Unlike rubbing alcohol, denatured alcohol, also known as methylated spirits, contains methanol. This addition is toxic, which means that you can't use rubbing alcohol and denatured alcohol interchangeably. The website chemicals.co.uk has more information about the uses of methylated spirits. Is rubbing alcohol safe? Rubbing alcohol is safe to use as intended, but care should be taken. Isopropyl alcohol is highly flammable so it should always be kept away from heat sources and open flames. Inhaling rubbing alcohol can cause nausea, vomiting and irritation.